It's the year 1980, and out of the ashes of a brutal nuclear war stand three totalitarian superstates. Eurasia, headed by Mao Zedong, East Asia, led by a woman popularly known as Mother Russia, and Oceania, commanded by the all-powerful Big Brother, vie for global domination. After brainwashing their own population into mindless sheep, they have nowhere else left to turn but each other. On January 1st, 1984, a previously signed armistice will expire and total war will ensue. Hi, I'm Colonel Cam and welcome to the world of 1984, where government surveillance is ubiquitous and Big Brother knows all, even the thoughts inside your own head. Welcome to a different kind of video. I wanted to get this out before the new DLC. Now, if you have read the book 1984, you guys are in for a treat because this, oh, this is a very fun mod. It obviously it's based on off the world of 1984. And if you haven't read the book, I strongly recommend you read it. All right, read this book. It's a book everyone should read. I guarantee you, you'll, you'll like it, especially after this a beautiful book. Anyway, before we do get into this video, like and subscribe. Uh, I put a lot of effort into these videos, so I'd be I really appreciate it if you show me some support like that. Anyways, let's get right into it. And of course, we are playing as Airstrip 1, the home of Winston Smith and where everything everything goes wrong for him. 1984. Look at this, we got Big Brother over here. Okay, so basically on January 1st, 1984, it's going to be just a battle royale, okay? Everyone just goes to Claire's War with, with everyone. We've got four years to prepare for this, so I think that's enough time, but let's just go ahead. Russian SSSR. Oh, final indoctrination notes. All Out War will start on January 1st, 1984. Disputed zones will create their own faction at 75% world tension. Disrupted zones... Na dis disrupted zone nations lose their disjointed industry modifier once forming a faction, making them dangerous opponents. Allowing foreign ideology to reach 50% will trigger a disaster. Manage your intel and security policy to prevent it. Let us begin. Alright, that sounds very interesting. Oh, Mao Zedong's in charge of... Yeah, he's in charge of East Asia. Look at him. Look at him, he's in charge of everything here. He's the Asian big brother. And then we got Mother Russia here. Oh, the... So they're the factions. We got Eurasia. Uh, yeah, this one. Is this Oceania? Yeah, I think it's Oceania. Yeah, Oce it's not Oceania, it's Oceania. And then we got uh, East Asia. Look at that, what's all this red outline? So our focus tree is based on the different ministries that are in the book. So, you know, the Ministry of Love, Ministry of Truth, Ministry of hate, uh, uh, Peace, sorry, not Hate. You know, we, we all know that they're the complete opposite of what they say they are. But the focus tree is built around it, so it's so cool. Now let's go Ministry of Truth. Who, who, contro who controls the past controls the future. All information in every form follow, flows through the mini true where historical rec records are altered to become the new reality. We get ignorance is strength. It gives us more political power. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so we've got this uh, brotherhood modifier, right? Because, uh, so we don't want this to go any higher, any higher because otherwise that would be disastrous for Big Brother over here and we want to keep him, you know, happy. So what we need to do is we need to go surveillance state and then we daily support for, resi for resistance, negative 0.5. And this is growing by 0.4, so 0.04 actually, 0.05. So we'll do this one, and yeah, add telescreens. We can finally get okay. So we have state security. X. Uh, this is what we're on. This the this is the conscription law per se. We got so we're, on, we're currently on state security, which gives us encryption bonus. Uh, the resistance stuff goes down. But we can change if we want. Um, national lockdown. Oh, that would that would be bad. Wait, no, that would be good. Weekly stability goes up. This gives us ideology drift defense. We're gonna stay on this for now, all right? This thought control over here, very interesting. So I had no idea how this worked before, but I figured it out now because it's, well, it's the end of the, I've finished the game by now. And uh, at the beginning, you have the thought control, which is like the most control over your state and you can control the brotherhood and get their support down. But then if you go eyes of God, you have more power like over foreign, over foreign seas and you can like get air detection and you have like a, a better spy agency, but then you lose grip and control over your own state. So then the brotherhood starts ticking up and it's just like a balancing act. <laughs> National lockdown. Yeah, let's go to national lockdown. All right, boom. That should be less power. Yeah, now it's 0 0.06, and then we'll do this, and that'll be just 0 0.1. So we'll be go back the other way. Look at this. Look at thought control. This is the best one. Foreign service daily stability. No, no, no. We're thought control. Oh my gosh, I should I should have done this one. Boom. We're controlling the thoughts of our of our people. 
Yep, and now it's time for room 101. We all know what's inside room 101. It's our greatest fears. All right, going down quickly. Room 101. Remove consciousness of man, which grants resistance support and... Yes, <laughs> we will remove the consciousness of man. Men struggle to retain their own identity, their own consciousness, but we have the means of breaking it. With this final step, we can mold their individual thoughts to our will. When we are finished, we will tell them that 2 plus 2 equals 5, and they will believe it with the wholehearted convic con conviction as if they had seen it with their own eyes. Operation time goes down, alright? Oh, special force, a cat multiplier. No. Oh, we'll get both of them so we can have more marines. That sounds like such a good idea. Ministry of Peace. The Ministry of Peace supports our war effort against the other world powers, and it is from here that the fate of mankind will be decided. There we go. War is peace. 1% recruit will pop, and uh, well, tension goes up. And before we actually go to war with the big super states, we're actually allowed to be at war with all like the minor, well they're not minor, but you know, like the free countries, you know, Emmanuel Goldstein and wherever his hideout is. Like free Africa, free Asia, in, no, Indochina, free Indochina, and then there's like free Indonesia and stuff. Anyway, we, we go to war with them. Oh, they're declaring war on all the free republics. Alliance announced. Yeah, the last of the free nations face certain defeat, have now allied together to stand against the aggression of the three superpowers. Ooh, all right, let's have a look at this. We have the resistance. All right, can we justify? We can, six political power, 30 days, but we don't border them, so I mean. And for the remainder of the year, we were doing our final preparations for the 1984 day. Obviously we still had next year, but I set up some naval invasions into mainland Europe because we do want to invade Europe. We can't just stay on our island, all right? We gotta invade them somehow, obviously. Oh, they got three ports here. Look at all those ports, man, damn. Now that's what I call an invasion right there. I'm gonna read the whole thing again. The end is nigh. While the people of the three great nations may not have even realized there was an armistice, the knowledge exists among the top commanders and party leadership that a ceasefire has been declared at one time during the Great War. These same privileged few also realize that this armistice shall expire at the end of the year. War is coming. Gets event. <laughs> Nef underscore war start 90. Are we prepared? I mean, are we? I've got a, I've got a naval invasion prepared. I, I don't know if we are though. I determined that that one naval invasion wasn't enough, so I had to add another one with ten more divisions on it because I also got a, uh, the naval capacity thing. You know, the one with the what's it called? The officer trait, the trait thing. Yeah, I got that. There we go, another ten divisions ready for the naval invasion. I need more dudes. All right, I'm gonna promote just a bunch of them. Right, I don't care where you're from, just promote. There we go, three. And I also need to get a field marshal. Here. You, sir, you look like you could become a field marshal. Brilliant. Now we got some dudes. Offensive doctrine. And we should be ready by the time war starts. The end is here. Blooded but not beaten by recent conflicts, large formations of troops are now on the move. They gather in ports and along border fortifications, rehearsing their plans and checking their equipment as they make last minute preparations for the grand campaign ahead. The armistice will end in a few short days, and at that time the world will, will see a war which has seen no equal and may last for all eternity. Big Brother will inspire us. Yes, indeed. And we got better engines. Very good. Okay. Oh, and them. We need. Basic heavy chat. Nah, I don't want to ruin the product efficiency of that. Overlord China declared we're on the frontier zone. Everyone, yep, there it is. Oh, okay, that's a lot of things. All right, so we are all with. Oh, we got to wait. Hang on, we got to. Oh, there we go. Airstrip one declared we're on Japan. Man, yeah. Oh, we just declared we're on everyone. All right, brilliant. We should be at war with all these guys. Okay, so let me change the song though because this song is kind of trash. This one, they've changed it and made it like the, their own song. It's so good. All right, can we start going? Yeah, we can start going. We can start going. All right, here we are. Boys, the naval invasion is off. Despite zero, zero bloody fuel, we'll be right. We'll get fuel over time. Okay, our, our landings, our landings. There we go, it's losing there, winning. There we go, perfect. Take Dunkirk, we've already got Calais, that's a port. Brilliant, all right, move out. Help, grab that. I want you, one of you guys to go over to you, or you, whatever that. Paris must be liberated. All right, we'll liberate them. Help them out. Actually, one of you guys come around. 
there and then there. Perfect. All right. Once we connect all of these fronts, we're going to do one major just front line. Come on, just connect it. Just connect the front. There we go. All right. All, everyone. Everyone on one front. Perfect. Where should we go? I think we should do the Spanish Peninsula first and then just go, just go east. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll go down to the bottom here and we'll see what happens. Air detection, naval detection, weekly stability goes down, but who cares? Decryption, uh, resistance goes up, but that's fine. We are now the eyes of God, allegedly. We've got Paris in our grasp. Uh, equal opportunity. Recruitable population factor, negative 50%. Gone. Disappeared. Not happening. No more of that. Oh, it's so, it's so strong. All right. Uh, how do we get this? Fuel gain per oil plus 20% here as well. Good. I was just normally playing the game, and uh, guess who showed up? Uh, man, uh, Winston showed up on, on, on a news report. Yeah, running out of fuel. Confessions of Thought Crime. There he is. There's the man. Uh, what's his name? I forgot. Win Wilson. Win Winston. That's his name. Oceanian telescreens today played footage of yet another deviant confessing to thought crime. Yep, that's him. Subversive thoughts, unsanctioned... Yep, and the possession of contraband goods were among the list of crimes for this man named Winston Smith, a low-ranking office worker from the Ministry of Truth. After attending the Ministry of Love's award-winning re-educational program, he has announced we, he has re-announced his deviant ways of now that, and now proclaims that his love for Big Brother is stronger than ever. Yes, two plus two equals five. Big Brother is watching you. We all know that story of that man. If you've read the book, then you know he's, you know, he's not having a lot of fun. <laughs> he's not having a good time. Oh, state of emergency. Oh, 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 we need it. We need to switch it. We need to switch it. All right, thought control. Okay, oh, uh, a state of emergency. Our in uh, internal situation has grown dangerous. We must do everything possible to prevent our decaying, uh, decaying our state. Uh, yes, resistance. Go down, please. Oops. All right, yeah, now it should be going down. Yeah, it's going down 0 0.2. So we're okay, we're okay. Australia, no. Damn, Arabia is in... Melbourne. <laughs> uh, Indonesia has taken over Sydney and Canberra and oh, it's crazy. Oh my god, the port is actually in the right place. That's crazy. Well, it's a bit too far north, but whatever. Oh, dude, the free states are actually so much stronger than I thought in this game. I, gen I genuinely thought like they weren't that good and like the main powers would be like, you know, Eurasia, East Asia and Oceania, but apparently not. All right, apparently not. <laughs> The Black Sea SSR has capitulated. That's really good news. All right, the, the rest of the um, we'll get rid of capitulated miners. The rest is we'll get rid of Continental ourselves and the Revolutionary ourselves. Hopefully, these guys deal with the Russian SSR. Move out. Let's go, guys. We're on the move again. Damn, so many, so many divisions. Do we end up getting the collab government on them on these guys? Hang on, let's check. I don't know. Doesn't say. Fuel refining. I want more of it. More fuel, man. Daily gain 1.2. Consumption is like 2k. Jeez, man. Overlord China has capitulated to free... Because... Oh, my gosh. They were all in the Russia, but... Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> all of our... Oh, how are we doing in Africa? Africa's just such a standstill place. Like nothing's happening. Just cut them off. Go on. Cut them off, man. There we go. See, you got the hang of it now. Continental SSR just capitulated. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So obviously there's this front, which will be composed of a lot of individuals. I'm going to select everyone, and then just uh, unselect these guys. The SSR has just capitulated. Lovely. That was all. Oh, why is it? No, it's fine. We don't have to worry about it. Okay, we just got Baltic SSR and uh, Russian SSR. Haha! Arabian troops. You fell for the the trap. There we go. Oh, that was easy clean up. Anyway, we needed to get into Finland to be able to capitulate the uh, the Baltic states because if we capitulated all of Scandinavia, I think that counted as them capitulating. So we just instead of going all the way up and around, we just naval invaded Finland straight into Helsinki. So that was pretty easy. No divisions, there we go, and then we just get like four. How long will that take? Twelve days, easy. Now let's make the uh, offensive line. 
Delete that. These guys there. Every single one of these guys. Yep. Here. Now we're pushing to... Are we serious right now? Are we actually doing that? There it is. Oh, that was a good capitulation. All right, now the rest of you guys will be able to go on this Russian front. All right, this is going to be the last year of gameplay, guys. I'm not going to go fully into the depths of 1984 and Hearts of Iron 4 into like 1990s, all right? I'm not going to go past 10 years in this game. It's, it's just supposed to be a little fun. The war is supposed to be endless anyway. That's the whole point of it's just supposed to be endless chaos. We do capitulate Eurasia. Dev, and we have a collab. It would be easier for us to capitulate. Oh, never mind. There we go. All right, so there we do have a peace conference. Interesting. All right, let's uh, start taking land. All right, revolutionary. Okay, we can't actually select all of it. We're going to have to go independent. All right, we'll start with Northern France, right? You guys can uh, skip to the part in the video that I've shown on screen if you don't want to see me clicking states for all eternity. Yeah, so we'd like Switzerland. So this is the problem with having such big... Oh, okay, that's all the land. Look at them. Look at Brazil fighting us for it. Are you serious? They're in our faction, though, so I'm not really concerned. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to get all of Spain. Oh, we can't click all of Spain. We have to... Good. Good. Oh dear. Okay, we can't smell. We can't do that. Who the hell is? One nine. We take Gibraltar, we take that, we take that, and we take the rest of Italy. Jeez, I really took everything, didn't they? No, I want some in Norway. Why are they getting any points? In Sweden. I'm just clicking at random. This is not supposed to look good, okay? If I were trying to, it's not, it's not supposed to look good. There we go. I demand all that. Ah, uh, you know what? Forfeit. I don't care. Oh, well, I'll take the... Oh, uh, never mind. They're already contesting us for that. You know what? Fine. I just want those, and that's it. I, I don't care anymore. Great success! Alright, you know what? This is a success. We beat Eurasia. No one cares about East Asia. They're too small, and the resistance... No, don't worry about them. They're not a problem. Alright, very good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. That was a quick video before the DLC comes out, because I want to well, get a video out. And uh, let me know if you want to see more mods like this, you know, just random mods coming about. I thought I, thought, I saw this one, I'm like, you know what, that's pretty good. You know, and I've read the book, and uh, I recommend you guys read it. It's very good. It's a book everyone should read. So thank you guys for watching, and the next video you'll see from me will be one with Arms Against Tyranny. I'll be, probably be playing Denmark, because that's what's currently winning the poll. I don't know who's going to choose... I don't know who's going to... What, what's going to win, but currently it's Denmark. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh! I didn't get early access, obviously, like all the other YouTubers, because I am not very well known currently, but don't worry, that'll change, hopefully. Alright, okay, I should stop ra rambling on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you.